Hello. I could talk to you about certain features and certain restaurants and bridges and things like that in this town. But instead, I'd rather focus on the isolation. I am going for a hike right now. I believe what is called the General John Hoare Nature Preserve. And within it is the Portland Reservoir, which has many numerous no trespassing signs. But you are allowed to go hiking on the trails. And I highly suggest that if you come out here, it really is the middle of nowhere um, that you use an app like All Trails um, to kind of coincide with where you're going. And don't use Google Maps to get here. It'll lead you down numerous dead end roads or roads that no longer exist that don't allow car traffic whatsoever any longer. So use something like, if you have an iPhone, Apple Maps or whatever. It's an interesting place. Um, I was just passing through and just had this urge to want to go for like a two, three mile hike on this fine inauguration day, January 20th. 2021. Uh, hey, my birthday's coming up soon. I'm, I'm an old man. Forgive me for not remembering the dates. But I'm just doing this little loop here. And uh, tell it's a little rough. But I kind of like it that way. There's nobody here. Uh, it really feels like I'm one with nature right now. I saw some fresh bear poop along the way, so I know they're close. Um, yeah, Portland, it's it's a great town. It's somewhat central to the state, across the river from the illustrious Middletown. And Portland has a great reputation for having a really good bang for your buck in terms of housing and whatnot. Um, it's also got one of the oldest running hot eats, cool treats, dairy queens that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, and there was a miniature golf course which was absolute rubbish that featured dinosaurs. But when I was last there, which was probably like 10 years ago or so, uh, all the, the felt was warped and you would have a, you'd take a shot and the ball would just keep on drifting off to like the far end corners and the neither reaches and whatnot. But um, that doesn't matter now because I don't even think they're running. I don't think they're in business any longer. Um, and if they were, they wouldn't even be open right now. Well, at least not while I've been recording this in January. And uh, right there you can see the outlier of the reservoir. Um, so anyways, so I was driving around South Glastonbury and I was passing by a bunch of these beautiful homes that had to have been between like six to 10,000 square feet in size. Beautiful. Um, surrounded by lush uh, orchards and uh, vineyard country. So yeah, a lot of wine to be had right there. Um, and I just kept going and going and all of a sudden we had, we had a little bit of snow this morning and the road was white and there's nobody, there were practically no tire trucks on, on this road whatsoever. And so I'm like, all right, well, this is where the GPS is telling me to go, so I'll just keep going. And, uh, 
next thing you know, I'm passing by like an old nuclear missile launch site facility. I didn't go up it. Um, I was tempted to. There's a truck there, and right now I'm just trying to avoid people, and no better way than to walk in the middle of nowhere like you see here. So, um, let me figure out what the name. Oops, cut myself off there. Looking for stuff, but just a little absent-minded, like I said. Um, I do not know the name of this place offhand, but if you're going all trails, look up Portland, Connecticut, and then you'll see there's like this loop, like a reservoir loop trail. It's like seven to nine miles in length, and it's marked as moderate. And I found it to be intriguing because, uh, you know, they said it's like not like too well blazed and that's true. I mean, it's blazed enough that uh, you can get by. Oh, there's actually more people going down right now. I'm on the other side of where this like little pond thing is. And uh, yeah, we'll keep going. Um, yeah, interesting place to hike for sure if you want to just be by yourself and whatnot. So, check out Portland. Um, I mean, if you were to look on the map, literally where I stand, and maybe I'll put this in the video in a bit, um, that where I'm literally located is in this giant no man's land area between. Glastonbury, Portland, and East Hampton. Yeah, East Hampton, not East Adam. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me uh, let me show you more water. Uh, come check it out. 